All right, uh, this is for Jackson or and anybody else that's concerned with putting. Um, there's an op optical illusion in putting. Um, how many times, let me see, where's the camera lens? There it is, I can never see. All right, how many times have you ever lined a straight putt up and then you get over the ball and, and it just doesn't look right? Looks like it's going to, you know, it's aiming to the left or it's aiming to the right. So you get back down behind the ball and yeah, it's, it's, it's going straight towards the hole on a straight in putt. And then you stand over it again and the same thing happens, but you just hit it, okay? You have probably a 40% chance you're gonna miss that putt. And the reason being is your brain is gonna to try to compensate uh, even though you're trying to do your thing the brain can overcome you a lot of times. All right. What you have to do, and what you need to do, is get a couple golf tees, find a find a good three three to five footer, okay, dead straight. Set you a couple golf tees about um, well, maybe eight to ten inches behind where you're going to set your ball. <clears throat> then take a golf tee and put it all the way in the ground. So all you can do is see the top, okay? Then set your ball slightly in front of this towards the hole and line it up. Uh, go ahead and hit it and make sure it's a straight putt, okay? If it's a straight putt, stand over the ball in your normal stance Look down at the ball and see if it looks like it's a straight putt to you, according to the arc on the ball. If it looks like it's aligned to the left or the right, but you know it's straight, you're gonna to have to manipulate either your body, your head, or both. Ball position front, back, center, or a combination of all three. What you need to do is find a way that this ball marker right there <clears throat> looks straight to your eye when you're when you're standing over your putt. <clears throat> For me, my legs are 45 degree angle. Uh, and it would be an open stance, okay? Some people might have to actually close their stance. Um, it depends on which eye is dominant too. Uh, I don't know how to tell that. There's other people out there and tell you which eye is dominant. <clears throat> I don't care. I just want to make sure when I look at this ball, this line looks straight on a straight line. <clears throat> I'm 45 degrees open. I lock the Honda grip. I've done this for 30 years putting and I haven't changed at all. And this is why. Um, when I look down at the ball with a square stance, this line, I can't even remember because I don't do it anymore. I think it looks like it's going uh, to the right of the hole. Um, but there's times that I, if I set up incorrectly, it looks like it's going to the left of the, of the hole in the, what I do right now. I kind of look like Jack Nichol Nicholas when, when I put. Um, I've got a 45 degree open stance. I set the putter down straight in front of me between my, uh, right in the middle. I take my grip and then I rotate back to the ball. And I've, then I lock, lock, lock it in. I lock the putter, the putter face in, and I lock this in. And then I have to turn my head this much to see the straight putt. Well, if I have to do that on like a three-footer or a five-footer, even my hundred-footers, 
I have to do the same thing. Though I'm not looking at the line on the ball, I haven't looked at this line on the ball uh, for 30 years. Um, I still check it every once in a while to make sure this is correct. Okay, so you need to you need to do that. Once you figure out what's going to work for you, you must do it all the time, and you need to practice it over and over and over and over again until it's an automatic thing. You just step up, and however, if you set up square and you got to tilt your head to the left a little bit when you look at it and look straight, fine. If you have to tilt to the right, fine. If you have to move away from the ball, fine. Do whatever it takes to make this line appear as a straight putt. Then this will not get in the way of your stroke. You, you will probably make 90 to 95% of your putts instead of missing three or four out of 10. You'll miss one out of 10. Um, this should improve your short and long distance putting. Now, long distance putting, you've heard of the Spieth method. Well, it was Mob's method before he was even born. But anyway, I, I never touted it, but I've always looked at the hole when I putt. Uh, I never look at the line on the ball, and the reason is the optical illusion, but I do check it before every round I hit putts and I line my head up so I know exactly how it feels and I look for the straight. But I have to do that for every putt, even my 100 foot putts. There's no way you're going to get the ball within two, three feet for 100 feet if your brain's fighting you. Okay, so that's my main putting tip uh, for Jackson. <clears throat> um, there's the, uh, I'll do another vid on, on drills, but uh, this is the most important thing. If, if, you, if your mind is fighting your stroke, you cannot putt well, ever. So this must be taken care of, and everybody's individual. That's why I can't tell you I can't tell you how to do it. You do this, 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 and this, and you're fine. It doesn't work that way because everybody's different. So you're going to have to research this on your own. <clears throat> but once you do this, you're golden. Things will start happening a lot better with your putting. It's not you. It's not your grip, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> it's your perception. It's the optical illusion that you're fighting. So let's get rid of the optical illusion and then your putting will get, will get a lot better. Uh, there's a guy out there, I, I know, so hopefully some of you guys know who I'm talking about. He's rolled thousands of balls and all that stuff and he goes over this uh, really in depth. I mean, probably an hour and a half if you want to go through an hour and a half of what I just told you. But, <clears throat> but he's, he's the best and I just can't remember the name of the guy. Um, but uh, hope that helps, guys. Um, Jackson, I'll come up with a couple of videos. Uh, uh, basically on putting, it's just hit three footers, buddy. Three footers till you're tired of them. Four footers, five footers till you're tired of them. Another thing is, um, well, I'll, I'll do a different video. This is getting kind of long already. It's another eight and a half minutes of boring crap on video on putting. But have a great day, guys.